What are some of the questions that people typically come to you with? Now, every person is unique and every situation is unique. So the questions really vary and depend on the people. But if I had to sort of aggregate all of the questions that I get and draw some large patterns in terms of typical questions that I get, I would say there are a handful of them. Um, number one would be, am I ready to get married? A lot of people don't know the answer to this one because we no longer get married because our neighbors got married, all our cousins got married, or because our parents are, are asking us to. We're very deliberate in our choices. And so we do take this life-changing decision of marriage quite seriously. And we want to be ready when we actually make this commitment. So a lot of people nowadays do ask this question. The other big theme is who is the right one? Who is my partner type? What am I looking for? There are different variations of this question, but essentially what they're asking for, who is Mr. or Miss right for me? Now, this can be really overwhelming, especially when you're on dating or matrimonial apps, where you're essentially scrolling through a human catalog for days and days together, not really knowing who is the right one for you. Because every time you meet somebody, you might feel like they're almost right, but there are a few red flags that keeps you off them. So after a point of time, you end up with decision fatigue and it becomes really hard for you to understand what exactly you're looking for. In some sense, your value compass sort of shifts every single time that you meet somebody and then you lose sense of what exactly it is that you value in a relationship and what you want. So people um, actually work with me extensively to explore and define these values and aspirations for themselves so that this can guide partner search for them rather than having to figure this out on the go every time they meet somebody. The other big question that people ask me is whether they should prioritize partner search or their career. Um, this is a really difficult one and it's a personal one and the answer varies for every single person. There's no right or wrong answer here. So what we do is really explore based on their personal circumstances and their future aspirations as to which needs to be prioritized for them at this point of time. Both are fairly important decisions and a lot of people tend to want to address them simultaneously because they feel like it would be easier, but sometimes it's not always the case. So this is yet another popular question that I get asked. The other big question is around how to um, make parents an ally in the process of partner search rather than an enemy. Um, this is really about drawing healthy boundaries with their parents. Um, it is about trying to build a working relationship so that you respect your parents' point of view, but at the same time, prioritizing your own values and aspirations about theirs, because at the end of the day, it's you who's getting married. Your priorities um, need to matter more and they should not be clouded by what your parents are essentially saying. And this is a very typical problem in an Indian household, just as a function of how um, we Indian kids are raised. The other big question that I get is people who are coming out of a relationship and um, are looking out for a new partner um, and are heavily weighed down by their past experiences and people who haven't necessarily analytically processed what they can take away from these past relationships and leverage for their future relationships. So these are some of the typical issues or questions that people come to me with. If you have a particular issue that is quite different from this and you know, you'd like to share your experiences or work with me, I'm going to leave a link to my website below. You can book 15 minutes with me to um, figure out if working with me will actually change the trajectory of your relationship going forward.